In this In Vivo 10 demo, I'm going to show you how to create a coding query. A coding query looks for the intersection between two nodes or between a node and an attribute. In this case, we're going to look for data on the children's and families' journal processes and gender. We wonder if there's a difference in the way that families with male children and female children complete the journals. So the way we can do this is to come up to the Query tab and click Coding to make a coding query. And the first box says Add to Project. And I'm going to go ahead and click that because this will add the syntax that we create for this query to the project so that I can run it again if I'd like to later. So I'm going to call this coding query journal process by, let's do females first. And I'm going to note here that it's a coding query in, in my description box. When I click the coding query tab, there's simple and advanced. A simple coding query looks only for one attribute or one node. And actually, it's not so different in terms of its results from just browsing that node. But if you go to advanced, it allows you to use Boolean operators to connect two nodes, a node and an attribute. In this case, we want to start out with the journal process node. So I come down below and it says to find more criteria, coded at, I want to say any selected node, and I'm going to select the journal process node. I just want to mention here that the journal process node will catch into it all of the subnodes because I have aggregate turned on in the, for the parent node of journal process. So I'm going to click OK, and I need to add that to the list, and it's just added right above, content coded at journal process. We've got to define some more criteria now, and they've helpfully put in the Boolean operator of AND, and, which is the one I need, but if you needed another one, there's a drop-down menu that you can select others from. And now we have to select our second criteria, coded at, and in this case we want to say any node where. That's how you get to an attribute. We're going to click the select box, and it's filled in attribute for us, and we're going to select and we're going to choose gender from our set of attributes. Click OK. And the property female is already filled in for me, but if I wanted to use the property male, I could have selected it from the drop-down box. So we'll click OK. And we need to add that to our list. So now we have the, the syntax for our coding query. Content coded at journal process and coded at any node where the child gender equals female. So I'm going to run that query. It's working down below. And the resulting node here that says journal process by females has all the bits of data that were coded at journal process where the child was also uh, coded by the classification sheet as female. And we can um, search that node, browse that node. If we find any data that doesn't belong there, we can, we can remove it and so forth. As we browse the results for the journal process by females coding query, we may decide that we want to actually save that, the results, so we go up to the Query tab, Store Query Results, and we'll click that box, and we can cre either create the results as a new node, or we can merge them into an existing node, and so forth. So I'm going to create them as a new node, um, and I'm going to call it, just leave it the name there, Journal Process by Females, because that lets me know that that was created mechanically. And I'm going to put Result of Coding Query. The reason why this is important is because I want, to, I want to know that this was done mechanically by in vivo rather than me looking at each bit of the data. So it reminds me to be a bit suspicious of exactly what's in there unless I've, unless I've cleaned up that category. So we see here that the results of our journal process by females coding query, the results are stored in the queries folder and then in the results subfolder. We're looking at them right here and we can look at either a summary which tells all of the different um, child nodes that, that have contributed data. We can look at it as, as all the references together, or we can see it by document. So we've got some choices over here to the side in, in terms of how we look at this in, in detail view. So if we decided that, that this was important data, that we actually wanted to create a node that contained the results of this search, we would go to the results folder in the queries. We would select the journal process by female results. Then we can right click to copy them. We go to the nodes section 
and we're, I'm going to click on notes because I'm going to put this at the top of the hierarchy. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste that node, uh, the results node into my regular hierarchical node set. And there we have it. Um, we should have journal process by females right here as one of my nodes. Now that that is one of my regular nodes, it's no longer hooked to the query, but of course I can rerun the query anytime I want by going back to the queries folder, coming up to the main queries folder where the syntax is stored, and here is our journals, journal process by females syntax. I can come up to the queries folder where I see my journal process by females. If I want to run it again, for instance, I've added some coding or added some documents, I might, may want to run it again to get the whole set. So I can right click on that and run the query again. Here's, here's the, the item that says run query.